Well, alrighty. Uh, this here's a longboard, and uh, it's a cheap piece of shit from uh, Meyer. Um, I don't even know what brand it is. So, my girlfriend and I decided we would start to try to longboard. It's something I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to ride a skateboard, but never had one, never tried. Uh, a little late in the game, but oh well. Uh, decided that these bearings are kind of shitty. Um, they don't spin very well under load, and uh, being a big guy, I need some new ones. So, I picked up these cheap fuckers from Amazon. Uh, I think they were like $16, um, yellow jackets or something or other. Um, so these should kind of make a difference. And really I've been seeing these wheels uh, a lot and wanted to try them. Um, have a lot of theories about whether or not they're good or not. But uh, basically the biggest thing for a beginner I think is worried about hitting you know, rocks and stuff. And supposedly when that rolls down the road a rock is more likely to get sucked into the channel instead of, uh, you know, stop you really fast. So we're gonna put these uh, suckers on there and, uh, and then we're gonna go for a ride later and see how good they do. So I figured just for fun, I'd explain how these go together. Um, basically you have two bearings per wheel and then you have a little spacer guy here. Um, this kind of just goes in there and uh, keeps everything nice and at the right distance. Uh, so I have one finished here. Um, so you see the spacer is kind of floating around. When you put that on the truck, it'll find its way home. Um, so this one here, I just got one on there so far. Basically, you put the one in one side. It's kind of difficult, but you just got to press it on it pretty good. Uh, you drop this guy in there, make sure she's flat. like that and then uh, grab bearing number dose and shove her home make sure you didn't flip that over um, it's kind of hard to do with one hand but there you go just like that and then uh, repeat and rinse um, we'll get the rest of them on there and we'll start bolting it up uh, I came with these little washer guys I don't know if I'll use those or not. I don't think there's any on the stock board, but it looks like there's eight of them, guys. I don't know. It's probably a good idea to use them, eh? We'll see. And uh, here's a little tip for uh, anybody who's having difficulty shoving these guys in here. Um, I mean, after about six of them, it starts to hurt a little bit. Uh, I'm just using a cheap little screwdriver. If you take the butt of it, put it in the little hole, and just... You know, if you line it up right, there you go, and just press her in. Uh, if they're lined up pretty good from the first get-go, you can uh, just kind of put pressure on it, and it'll shot over in there. Alrighty. Alright, so here we have the wheel removed from the truck. Um, she's pretty dirty. Um, looks like she's been chooched a little bit. Um... We got a locking nut here, it holds everything together. It does look like upon further inspection that we do have a washer from the stock factory. Uh, what is she? Pretty much the same as what looks like came with the old new wheels. Um, came with eight, so I'm assuming it's recommending that you take your little guy, try to Maybe use the Phillips screwdriver here to uh, line up that. Yep, there she goes. Um, and uh, I'm assuming it's recommending that you use the other washer on this side here, which will equalize pressure between ye old nut and uh, ye old inner side of the bearing there. Because if you see the, if it will focus, the bearing spins, but the middle does not. So that's how she works. All right, let's uh, get cracking on her here and we'll go back to it. Okay, I uh, stand corrected. It looks like this one did indeed have a washer on the outer side. So it is a good decision to have used both washers. Um, I wonder if 
the fact that I dropped the first one on the ground, it was kind of stuck maybe, and now she's gone somewhere down there. Uh, so we are just going to force forward with uh, a washer on either side. Sounds like the plan. Well, would you just look at what happened here? Uh, it seems as though the inner bearing wanted to stay on the truck. She don't want to, oh, there she goes. That's different. I wonder what that could have caused. Um, some kind of binding or something. I don't know what the hell's going on, but. Here as we go. you may or may not see, uh, this shark wheel here is definitely a little bit wider than the old shitty stock wheel. Um, let's see if we can get a better example, but uh, side by side comparison here. Yay, yeah, um, this one here is about one and a half inch wide. And this guy, if you include the entire width of the little wiggly spots, it's more like two and a quarter almost. Shit. That's a big wheel. I would say you would get a little bit more grip out of that. Um, I mean, you kind of have a balance between losing surface area and gaining surface area. Um, I'm sure it still creates quite a bit of uh, sideways grip, you know what I mean? First first uh, opinion is, is that these fuckers are big, okay? Um, <laughs> they look kind of fucking silly, honestly. Um, I have yet to try her yet. Um, I'm going to wait until the lady gets out of work because she's going to want to go with me and try it out too. Man, they sure, they sure seem to spin really nice. That's probably just the bearing. But, uh, you know, I have contradicting theories that uh, suggest whether or not that these will be, you know, slower than just a normal wheel because of the weird shape and the type of friction it causes. But maybe my brain could be wrong about that. All right, let's give this fucker a try. You ready? Mm-hmm. They're so much bigger. Look how much they stick out compared to yours. Yeah, they're massive. Look at that. Maybe it's just in my brain. No, they're bigger. Well, they stick out, but not not stupid far. But all right, let's just go for it. Oh god, those new bearings! The new bearings are definitely a difference. There's the first rock. I'm gaining speed. So it turns out that uh, the friction issue I was thinking of is not exactly an issue because she's rolling pretty good. And I just ran over a pine cone. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not eating shit right now. They're definitely getting dirty very fast. It's not gonna happen, they're right. Yeah, but nothing stays nice. This is why we can't have nice things. For what? <laughs> <laughs> I think I like them. What do you think? You want to try them? I mean, yeah, huh? I'll try them. You're definitely not falling behind or I'm not passing you as much no, as I I'm was. Spanking you. With the old wheels. Try it with the new wheels. Can you tell that you're up higher a little bit? Not really. I'm up higher? Just a little bit. Come back here. Well, we've got about 4% battery left, so I think that's where we're going to leave her. Yeah. So, what's your opinion? You like them? You have to get some. Okay, I guess uh, opinion is favorable. So there's that. Do a kickflip. I can't do a kickflip. 
Do a kickflip. I can't do a kickflip. Do a kickflip.